I'm Tam. And I'm Bob. Welcome to our adventure. All right, it's like a few minutes before 5 a.m. and we are packed and ready to leave the hotel. We're out and we are walking to the train station. This isn't too far to go. All right, across the road. Our destination's that kind of whitish building up there. You gotta take a left here for a block and then the right and we'll be there. It is a little cold. Takeaways look. It's 5.05. We budgeted 45 minutes to get here. It took five. I didn't want to say that um, we could have been sleeping another half hour, but uh, as it turns out. All right, we've got our tickets. We've got our coffees and hot chocolates. And we are just now waiting for the train and time to board for Seward and Radiance of the Seas. Am just slowly sipping. Your coffee. So. It's a little warm, so we're letting it cool down. We got these um, hundred-year anniversary pins. Mine's hidden. Hundred anniversary of the train for our Gold Star pins. Train has arrived. It's our car. It is boarding time. Our train is here, and we are ready. Are we ready? I think so. Out the door to right. Hey, maybe the first night, you don't know. He's literally doing the whole thing, so I just said, Be careful where you're walking, Bob. Yep. Let's just open the It's like crying Jennings or something. Really? It's a cold here. That's a theory. Well, Hello. How's it guys this morning? Good. Maybe on your left and up the stairs. All right, thank you. Cheers, all right? Cheers, Dodge. More stairs. All these chairs look like they're Alaska Railroad. Gordon is in front of us. And uh, we've got these beautiful dome cars. We are moving. I have my staff. We are pulling out of the Anchorage station, heading to Seward. We leave Anchorage on the Coastal Classic which will wind its way south from Anchorage along the Turnigan Arm before eventually turning south to the Kenai Peninsula, eventually reaching Seward. This 114 mile journey will take around four and a half hours due to some slow trackage as the line winds its way over mountains. We start by seeing the Anchorage Coastal Wildlife Refuge along the Cook Inlet which is also known as Big Water River or Ocean River by the native inhabitants. It's the mountains are big, but they're not big you'll see. It's not the same with the day-to-day. -day. Last time we were here, it was a really blue sky. 
and a reflection to the mountains and the water was spectacular. You'll see with three of all Not that that's as important now because it's a paradise and I see them all the time. The Cook Inlet was named after Captain James Cook in 1794. The Turnigan Arm is a waterway into the northwestern part of the Gulf of Alaska. It is one of two narrow branches at the north end of Cook Inlet, the other being the Nick Arm. Breakfast time on the train. Um, Jordan went with the sausage gravy and me and Pam got the scrambled eggs with um, reindeer sausage and potatoes. Reindeer sausage. I paired mine with uh, some Merlot. Um, I don't know, what's what's a, what's a the proper pairing for scrambled eggs? Um, I went with a red Merlot. Um, let us know in the comments uh, what you would pair with scrambled eggs. It's not mimosa and not um, Bloody Marys, because I don't like those, but uh, you know, George's having a little bit of issue with the reindeer. <laughs> Reindeer's fighting back. There you go. <laughs> so let us know what you would pair with scrambled eggs. I went with the uh, Merlot. <laughs> Turnigan extends in an east-west direction and is between 40 to 45 miles long. It forms part of the northern boundary of the Kenai Peninsula and reaches on the east to within 12 miles of Passage Canal, a western branch of Prince William Sound. Turnigan is characterized by remarkably large tides of up to 40 feet, which are the largest tides in the United States. The Danaina called Turgen arm Tutulu, meaning black water. in between the great peaks that allow you might be able to get a glimpse of the Spencer Glacier. The Spencer Glacier is part of the Chugach National Forest. The area that is now Chugach was settled by the Aleutia thousands of years ago. We are going through the mountain. Out the other side. That's the fact. It was first visited by Europeans in the mid 1700s and soon settled by Russian fur traders who trapped the native sea otters. Wow. Look, there's a tree. You see it because we're up high, but. Uh, <laughs> it is, isn't it? We're the grown up train, they're the baby train. That's just two big ones. Is it? Yep. They don't have their own cars, so they rent our cars. Okay. The Turnigan Arm was named by William Bly of HMS Bounty fame. Bly served as Cook's sailing master on his third and final voyage, the aim of which was to discover the Northwest Passage. Upon reaching the head of Cook Inlet in 1778, Bly was of the opinion that both the Nick Arm and the Turnigan Arm were mouths of rivers and not the opening to the Northwest Passage. Increase in altitude or decrease in altitude of three feet. This is the sharpest curve. So take this opportunity to look at both the front and or back of the train if you do want to take photos. Under Cook's orders, Bly organized a party to travel up the Nick Arm which quickly returned to report that the Nick Arm indeed led only to a river. Afterwards, a second party was dispatched up Turnigan Arm, and it too returned to report only a river lay ahead. As a result of this frustration, the second body of water was given the disingenuous name Turn Again. Early maps labeled Turnigan Arm as Turnigan River. Our journey we will also travel along the Portage River Valley which is a hot spot for moose, though sadly, we did not see any. Seward, called Quetalek by the Aluktia, or Tulub by the Danali, is an incorporated home rule city in Alaska, 
located on Resurrection Bay, a fjord of Gulf of Alaska on the Kenai Peninsula. Seward is situated on Alaska's southern coast, approximately 120 miles by road from Alaska's largest city of Anchorage. If anyone's getting off this with a population as of the 2020 census of 2,717 people, Seward is the fourth largest city in the Kenai Peninsula borough, behind Kenai, Homer, and the borough seat of Sodonta. The city is named for former United States Secretary of State William H. Seward, who orchestrated the United States purchase of Alaska from the Russian Empire in 1867 while serving in his position as part of President Andrew Johnson's administration. What are you doing? What? what are you doing? I think a bird will be sleeping. No, no, I can't see that. There's many library evidence of you sleeping. Yeah, they're trying to get bit audio of the snoring, I think. <laughs> Wait, was I snoring? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got two Freddies who's sleeping, so you know, don't right sleep. You told me I could! No, yeah. but I it was a micro nap. Took a, you took a belly nap, not a micro nap. I don't know, you can wait yourself. Am I fully double the camera there? I'm just taking my sleep. Are you ready? <laughs> Seward is the southern terminus of the Alaskan Railroad and the historic starting point of the original Iditarod Trail to interior Alaska with mile zero of the trail marked on the shoreline at the southern end of town. You can also take this train as a round trip from Anchorage and do a whale watching excursion while in Seward for the day. So if you have already done so you can clean up they're upright positions, they'll stay in the train tables, they're so rusty, we have brought down. Also, if you throw away any trash, you may have accumulated, but it's really well help your tour guide out. Yeah. <laughs> you will feel like cleaning your train, and we want to endure our time here today. Alright, we are off the train. Oh. That's the news. So the breaking news, we're off the train. We're walking towards the ship. Ready for a cruise? I just think it's great. It's our train. The engine. Thank you. I did. That was our train from Anchorage to Seward, where we're here, getting ready to go on. Radiance of the Seas, which is right there. Alright, we're approaching the ship. I think it's a little bit more than five minutes, but... Alright, we're through security, heading to the ship. We're in Seward. We are walking to the ship. Woo! Huh? We're on board Radiance of the Seas. Where is it? Oh, I'll see you for Hi, welcome on board, everybody. Hello. We're waiting for uh, Mustard Rail to open at 1.30. We went up to Solarium. At um, potato and lake soup. Potato and lake soup and a uh, roast beef sandwich. Jordan had potato and lake soup. So an otter. So an otter down there. He didn't pop up, but he didn't back. He didn't. Oh, Little camera shy, but uh, we saw Brian and Sherry who were on the world cruise. They're on this trip. This is their third leg, um, third Alaska cruise. I guess they were on a different ship last time, but first time and then they're on Serenade northbound and now Serenade southbound. Yep. And uh, so we're gonna go do mustard station, probably go to the room, eventually wind up in the center bar. Why 
And we've got our drinks, and me and Tam do anyway. Just kind of hanging out. At the pub before dinner. <laughs> I want the whiskey sour. Tam, and the Lord says they have good cider. George. My pretty pink is coming. Got a pretty pink being made as we speak. The captain's one of the mumblers. Uh, I don't really know what he's saying, but history of Seward. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> it's going on about how Seward was responsible for negotiating the purchase of Alaska from the Russians. Six cents an acre, yeah, yada, yada, yada. I think that's what he said. He took a lot more words to say that, but. <laughs> Jordan is taking the vegan tomato soup and making it non vegan. Oh, wait. You need to add dairy to my soup. It's a mom. That's my dad. Tim and I both got. Crab cake. Crab cake. The little soup. No, I don't. So, Jordan got the spaghetti bolognese. And got the strip steak. Can you I, I got the prime rib, but it's not here yet. So, more to come later. So, I got the prime rib. Yeah, but if you're too right, Jordan is taking her chocolate thing to go. That's got the key lime. It's meant to be key lime. Uh, with the cheesecake. I got a fucking.